What's good lunatics? Terra Luna Classic is playing games with us at the moment. We've added another zero back on. We are just back and forth, up and down like a yo-yo here. Pugilistically dancing with this 0 0.0001 price level. You can see, unfortunately, we lost 7.39% against Bitcoin's valuation. We lost 3.36% against Ethereum. And the volume's down a bit. The market cap is down to $650 million. Looking over the three months, uh, shall we say the one month rather, the price doesn't look too bad. We are just in this consolidation range, but it is getting a little bit frustrating for a lot of holders. And there is clearly a lot of volatility at the moment. So since this massive swing high here to 0 0.00016, what's happened is we've kind of been trading between this range and it's been 33 days where we've been sideways trading in this consolidation phase. As you see, this was the swing high and it's been 33 days from this particular impulse. We retrace down to this 0 0.000085 level, which now acts as a critical level of support. As you see, we had almost two touchdowns at this level here for Terra Luna Classic. Very similar to this consolidation accumulation range here, which was 18 days before taking the impulse wave. Um, but you can see how this is almost the median price right here. This is the average fair value between this support trend line here and this resistance trend line here at 0 0.00011. So again, we flipped this back into support. Now we've got to try and battle our way back through that 0 0.0001 level. Hopefully we will soon. But, you know, the volatility is crazy in the market. And it all depends on the trajectory of Bitcoin. If we look at Bitcoin right now, what's happening is we are in the formation of a double top bearish reversal pattern. So, of course, if we do complete this and we break this neckline, we'd lose support. Bitcoin will probably fall below the $20,000 level once again in the bearish scenario. Um, and look at the RSI. You can see perfectly it's been going swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. And so far it has not done that swing low. So if we can consolidate here, we might be able to get a bounce for Bitcoin but at the moment the trend is still down everyone got excited the euphoria came back and clearly this resistance level here at 25k may have been a good level to have gone short so Luna Classic at the moment the buys keep going hold if you want to see a breakout Luna Classic you can see the technicals here we're screaming we are in a buy zone so the bulls were actually temporarily taking control here in the Luna Classic zone um, and if we look at Luna Classic here we can see it's one of the top 10 Solana ecosystem coins by market capitalization as we see we have USDDT we have Chainlink over here we've got the graph we've got Solana and there's Luna Classic in rank 5 so it's one that's climbing the ladders especially as the burn the 1.2% tax burn gets deployed on more centralized exchanges and also dApps and other decentralized ecosystems system so what can really happen what we need to see here for luna classic is a breakout we need a bit more burning we need we need more holding we need bitcoin to climb again and to basically avoid this capitulation because if you zoom in a little bit we've also got this key area of support along here at 0 0.000096 which is another level we don't really want to lose around about here we did get that bounce but you know in my opinion we could effectively still go lower. Looking at our fib retracement tool, we actually came down just below that 0.618 level. We did pump back through, so it does look rather good on that element there, but it's hard to feel so bullish when the market is still in a macro downtrend. As you see, we're putting through lower highs, lower lows, um, but hopefully we will get that reversal soon here for the hourly time frame. 30 minute time frame, we're not actually oversold yet, but we did have that big capitulation wick right here. But luckily there was enough buying pressure to bring the price back up. I do think Terra Luna Classic has the potential to get to 0 0.0002 at some point this year, but we don't know exactly when that is gonna be. The first kind of hurdle is just getting through this resistance here at 0 0.00011. Then we can think about the future and becoming higher and putting through that next swing high, you know, because if we use our FIB extension, we come down to this level of support. We can see the golden pocket takes us to 0 0.00013. And if we do break through this swing high here, the first target for me is going to be at least a 1.272 FIB extension, looking at the 0 0.00018 eight price levels so keep holding let's keep hoping let's not the, let the emotions wipe us out here luna classic is a great project really strong community base still and with the burning we should see 
part of that 7 trillion supply slowly gets stripped away over time. Hello guys, I'm doing a $200 giveaway, as you can see, of my favorite project Lucky Block. So to enter this, just hit the subscribe button whilst you're here, like and comment, that would really help me out and it gives you a chance to potentially win some crypto during these very boring bear markets. Anyway, thanks so much for the support guys. I hope you're having a blessed day. Stay crypto safe and bye for now.